All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Kalev. I am the CEO and founder of Yes Hello. And in this video, we're going to talk about our new platform upgrade. It is our workflows so that you can create um, your automations, you can create your chatbots in a more graphic, graphical interface, right? So let's get into it and I'll go in step by step. Hopefully by the end of it, you have an idea of what else can, you can do, how, how much easier it is for you to, um, to, to create great automations inside the platform. Uh, and if you need more info on specific details, I give you links and resources where you can find more info. All right. So if you're ready, let's get started. So here we go. Let's start. Yes, it is 2021 at the end of it. Um, this will help you with getting started to boost your morale, boost your automation, all your digitalization for your 2022. Man, it's already year 2022. Okay, so we're excited that the workflow module is here. A lot of you guys really, really asked for this. You were like voting for it. So if you so we're going to talk about the workflows module. So the workflows module is published. So if you go to our um, dashboard, the new workflows module you can see is on the left side here. If you click on it, then it will open up the workflows module. So let's take a look at it. I've already created a few drafts. Let's go inside and see what it looks like, right? So if I add workflow, I will name this the welcome flow, right? So welcome flow or automation. Let's put this as a demo so that I remember what it is. Okay. This is just to show you what, um, what you can put in and what usually I would do. I'll put descriptions because later on you'll have so many different workflows that you might forget what it is, right? So you want to put some reminders. <laughs> okay, so once you already created the name, this is what it looks like. Now you can just have, so this is the trigger and you can add steps, right? So what are the extra steps? We're going to go through briefly one by one. As you can see, there's a lot of options. So awesome. So for the trigger, there are also many options on what kind of um, things that happen in the platform that you want to start this welcome automation. So if for welcome, let's think about it. How? How do we want to start it? So of course, you go to the right here, trigger, and you pick one. It could be when a conversation is open or a conversation is closed or a contact field is updated or a contact tag is updated. So which one is it that we want to trigger this. So for this specific one, we want to do a conversation open. We can even add a little bit more uh, detail, right? Trigger conditions, what are they? This, um, uh, these are other specific narrow conditions so that you can say, oh, only specific people can go in. An example would be, um, you know, what, where's the source? It could be a specific source. The source is equal to equal to either they're from a user, a workflow, or contact, right? So this is if you want to have deeper condition. So if you want to add um, um, more conditions, so for example, uh, if um, a user is from a specific um, customer group, then only trigger this condition. For this specific one, we want to have no conditions because everybody that comes in and opens a conversation with us, I want to start this automation, okay? So what do I want to do next? I want to send a message. So send a message, what's the message number one? So on the right side here, we can first pick a channel. What is the channel? So if you've connected your WhatsApp, then you can pick your WhatsApp. This is the WhatsApp number. We've connected two WhatsApp numbers. So it's either 014 or 011. Uh, we can choose, oh, if somebody opens any conversation, send them a message in this channel. We can if we have all the info. So in this instance, I want to do from our 014 number. This is the, the channel that we're going to send info to them. The message type is a, is a text. So what is the text? I will say, hi, there, and then let's put their name, right? So you, you can also put like specific name, but over here, let's not put uh, the name. Hi there, 
my name is Khalid. So for example, right? Or you could say, welcome to business, whatever it is. All right. So that's done. Next. So let's just, I'll show you what it looks like just to save. I like to save many times. And then we can go to now. Um, I want to ask a question. So let's ask a question. So you can ask, hey, if it's, um, you know, are you uh, an existing client or no, right? So are you a VIP? Whatever it is for you. And the question type for this would be multiple choice. So choice number one would be yes. And we can add second one would be no. Okay. So save. I want to save the response into the contact field. I can uh, choose a specific um, VIP. I think we have one at the bottom. So you can have many, many types of custom fields, right? So let's say plan, save inside plan. And then I can also add a tag. So that means the yes VIP, yes, v, the yes VIP tag will be saved inside uh, their contact. So later on, we have all a list of all those people who are yes VIP and we can broadcast to them or do whatever other, um, all the other automations. So this one's done. And then if uh, one, once they've chosen, that means, uh, you know, whatever they've chosen, I'll say great. Sorry, over here. Last channel interacted. Yes, the text. Yes, I'll say great. Then um, I will want to also add another one here to assign to another team member. Who do I want to assign to? I want to assign to, if it's a VIP, obviously, it must go to Alta, right? And once it's a success, I want to also add another comment over here. So I want to add a comment. The comment will be here saying that this is a VIP client, right? So I'll tag Alta. So she will get a notification. Now I save that. So now once an, an automation is started, this will come out. So let's go and see uh, how it works. Okay. So I'll publish that. So the updated is live. Let's go in and we go into messages and then I'll go into all over here. Let's take a look at what happens when I send a message. Okay. So let's say, I'll say, hello there, demo. Okay. A demo, meaning inside here, there'll be a new message that comes out. There you go, All right? What should happen here is, there you go. Our automation has started. Hi there, Khalif. Are you a VIP? So I'll say, yes, number one, VIP. And what's going to happen, remember internally that I'm going to get a great and I'm going to get um, the, the platform will automatically route it to the right person. So let's go inside the context over here and let's see all the automation that happened inside. So now I say, hello, it triggered out. The name is right there. The welcome flow automation. Hi there. And I chose and I pick on great. Now it's auto assign because we said, please assign. And I've also added a tag, say this is a VIP client, which means Alta will get a notification bell over here, right? So if she opens her, her platform, there will be notification saying that uh, there is a um, contact with her notes and she'll also get an email notification. How great is that, right? And that is set up already. So if you want to turn that off, you can go to workflows again, look for the published one and then just click on stop workflow stop it and then it stopped there you go right um for the ones that's working you can leave it on and um, it will help you automate your conversations until the end right until where you want it to get to all right so that's a quick overview quickly how this automation module works where you can find it we've talked about triggers we've talked about the different steps that you can create how wonderful that is. All right. Next is introducing inbound conversation workflows. So 
Um, it says here, often companies switch to yes, hello, because they simply cannot handle number of inbound chats. So many from WhatsApp, especially like, oh man, hundreds and hundreds a day. Sometimes you have also Instagram, Messenger, SMS, oh, just too many. Can? So previously, uh, it says here with the essential set of triggers and steps required to be over. However, we focus deeply on inbound. When a contact starts a conversation with your workflows, now you can perform chat on boarding. Uh, you can route conversations, you can assign to team, and you can also send away messages. Yes, like I mentioned just now, uh, all those you can do now. Okay, intro to workflows module. We've gone through this a little bit, but just let me uh, briefly go through as well. You can create a new workflow, you can publish, you can have uh, workflows that are starting to, to stop, and you can also clone and do other uh, interesting things. Okay. We mentioned earlier as well, you can um, now create um, different routes. So if somebody does, if they choose VIP and they are from WhatsApp, you can route to a different person. If they are VIP, but they're from Messenger, you can go to another person. So there's so many uh, rules that you can create to route to the right person. And once it's route to the right person, this person can be anywhere. Imagine they can be in Indonesia. They can be in Kelantan. They can be anywhere. And that's great for you as the business or the business owner because you too can be anywhere. You can be working from anywhere in the world and you can see what's going on and you can route just exactly how you want the system to look like. right? Instead of you know going out there and finding oh, does this system work for me? You create your own system and flow. Okay, what's next with workflows? So we've got a ton of ideas on improving workflows. Here are some big ones. Um, so we're going to add analytics very soon, right? So you can see which workflows um, convert more, um, how many numbers come in, and what actions do they take. And then you can uh, add many, many uh, steps to a trigger. You can also add WhatsApp ads trigger very soon, coming soon. Google Sheets row, so you can update your Google Sheets. HTTP request, meaning, it, meaning if you know how to do a little bit of coding, you can connect to any software and update any software out there. Meaning also any software out there that you're using, your CRM, can trigger automation inside here. How brilliant is that, right? Okay, which means we will be turning off some of our current automations. Not yet, very soon, in a few months, but you want to think about if you are using our automation and service and away message and automatic assignment, you want to slowly um, move it, move the automations into our workflows. So I'm going to create more videos to show you on each one how to do that. Don't have to worry. This is just the first video. It's going to be a series of it. Um, but you want to think about having your team to say, okay, this week, let's change our automation and service into workflows. Next week, we could do away message and set things. It just take maybe half an hour to, to set it all up. Okay. So that is what we are going to, what we call deprecate very soon. Um, we're talking about slowly um, and maybe February or March. So yes, still maybe two or three or four months. You can also now send WhatsApp message templates via messages API. So these are for you guys who are using the official WhatsApp business API and you are um, programming things. So meaning now you can send notifications. So if somebody is, uh, signs up for a webinar or signs up for a purchase or you want to do reminders and you know how to do a little bit of coding it is quite simple we have all the instructions ready for you you can now send the message from yes hello meaning they can now reply in yes hello and your team can manage it all inside there good or good or good very good so what's coming next we'll continue making improvements to this feature in messages api 2.0 like enabling sending Facebook tech messages over Messages API. So not just from WhatsApp, you can also later on send from Messenger and send from 
uh, Instagram and WhatsApp and SMS, so many other things. In the meantime, do let us know if you have any feedback and feel free to upvote for the request. This is a link to our um, roadmap. All right. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for spending time. I hope you guys are excited for this. We are so excited. Now creating automations and chatbots is so much easier. You can clone it and hopefully later on, it'll make your customer service five star. Uh, my name is Khalif. Um, this is the, um, the workflow update. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.